What's up nail friends? Today we're going to be doing this hand painted cactus design. So let's get started. To start, I've already filed down her old set. So I'm just going to be prepping with Envy Brand Nail Prep. This is just a dehydrator. I'm using Light Elegance Tack as my bonding agent. I'm using Egoista brand gel brush, I really like this brush, and Light Elegance One Step, and I'm just applying a thin layer of this all over the whole nail, as this will be my base. The design I'm doing today is not going to be encapsulated. I'm having her flash cure each finger before moving on to the next. After I've done all the base, now I'm coming back and building these nails. So first I'm using the same brush and the same one step and I'm applying a slip layer. The slip layer is there to help your builder gel go exactly where it needs to go. If you don't use a slip layer, it makes it a little bit harder to maneuver your beads of gel. Using the tip of my brush, I maneuver that gel across the nail and keeping most of the bulk right in the center to create my apex. In order to prevent a heat spike, I'm having her flash cure each nail before a full cure. I'll leave a video in the description box that you should watch for this technique. After all 10 nails have been built, I'm just coming in with my Light Elegance lint-free wipes and some cleanser and cleansing these nails. Now I'm coming in with my fine sanding band and I'm just going over and debulking this entire nail. I find gel so easy to file that just using a sanding band and a hand file is all you need. After debulking, I'm coming in with a 100 to 180 grit hand file and I'm just going over the side walls to perfect my shape and then I'm going over the whole nail to even it out. When I'm happy with the shape, I take a white buffing block and I buff out all the scratches and just make it nice and smooth and even. Now for the decorations. This is the fun part. I'm using Egoista number 24. This is from their hologram gel collection. I do have a video up of these if you guys want to see, so click the box in the top corner. So since this design will be a cactus design, we decided to choose the green hologram gel to go with the cactus design. I would have loved to use gold because this is a set for Vegas, but I actually don't have this in gold, but the green turned out pretty cool. For the other two nails, I'm using Jellyfit Australia's SS251. This is sort of a light gray off-white, which I thought would go nice instead of a bright white. So now I'm just applying a second coat of all those colors on all those nails just to build them up and give them full coverage. Thank you. 
For the cactuses, I'm using FW182 and FW172 from Jellyfit Australia. And I'm using multiple detailers and stripers from Ugly Duckling. I've cleansed the tacky layer off this nail, and now I'm coming in with my Ugly Duckling Detailer 2 to create the first shape of the cactus in the lighter color. While the lighter color is still wet, I'm coming in with that darker color and just kind of dragging it through. I gave that a cure so nothing moves, and now I'm coming in and doing the arms. I did use someone's photo for inspiration, so I will leave a link down below if I can. Now I'm coming in with that darker color and kind of doing the same thing, just letting it blend in with that lighter color. So I've cured that cactus and I'm coming in with the striping brush and the SS251, the white that's underneath, and just doing tiny lines that drag through to give that dimension. Give that a cure and now I'm coming in with the detailer and the darker green and I'm creating the prickles. The technique I found worked best to create these prickles was to get a little bit of color, kind of like a bead, directly in the center of the detailer. Then place that down and then lift up your brush and drag up and it creates kind of that thin spiked line. To create some more dimension, I'm using Magic Gel's Universal Black and repeating that process just a little bit more sparingly to create black prickles. Give that a cure and now I'm moving on to the other nail where I'm going to be doing the exact same thing but in a smaller scale and creating little cactus polka dots. But one of the cactus is going to be the green from the other nails to kind of tie everything together. Now I'm just adding little bits of cactus on the corners and the sides just to make it really look like it was a polka dot pattern. Then I'm coming in and doing all the other steps that I did on the other one, creating the lines and creating the prickles. And then I'm gonna give that a full cure before moving on. Whenever I do crystals on top of gel, I will use Ugly Duckling Stick It. And this is just like a gel glue, so it doesn't dry until you cure it, which is great. So here I'm just applying some rose gold crystals I got from Crystal Princess and I'm doing it kind of in the shape of some prickles to tie this entire set together and make it really cute. And on the thumb we decided to make the crystals into the shape of the cactus to match the other nails. I decided that this set would be shiny. Normally I like to do hand painted designs matte, but this time I decided shiny. So use any of your favorite top coat to do that and give that a full cure. When applying gel on nails with crystals, make sure you don't get the gel on the crystals or you'll ruin the Swarovski crystal shine. And here's the finished result. How cute are these green cactus nails? I just love them so much. These will be great for Vegas. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section. And if there's anything you'd like to see coming up soon in gel nails or acrylic, let me know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep your nails long and your glitter strong. Mm -hmm.